Yo, B-Boy Smirk up in the house, representing that flavor all around style. B-Boy from the Bronx to Vegas, you know how we do. Rolling like a world crew. Big shout out to B-Boy Network. Bam! From the Bronx, I moved to Vegas, and uh, they took me in. It's a crew that's uh, been in existence for a long time. They're like a well, deep-rooted crew in Las Vegas. And um, when I came up there, I was uh, down with Rock Steady at the time, uh, slash Ready to Rock. Yeah, Ready to Rock being one of the crews that I helped uh, uh, lay the foundation for as far as our generation. But anyway, uh, so I get out there, and you know, like, it, at the time, the, they had like rules in Rocksteady where um, you couldn't rep more than one crew, but the exception was Ready to Rock because I um, I started that yeah. while I was in Rocksteady. Yeah. Anyway, um, so the crew took me in, also reps, and they said, you could be down, and uh, it's cool if you don't rep it. You know, you're an honorary member. Recently with the events that happened, you know, I, I'm not in Rocksteady, and um, so that gave me the freedom to represent the crew that, that uh, took that me in and showed me a lot of love. So I represent House of Reps, you know, ready to rock. When I was living in the Bronx, you know, I lived um, at home, and it was like, where are we going to practice at today? The corner? You know, if you wanted to get a private session on, you had to go to the corner, you had to go to the parks. I mean, granted, they have the open uh, practices, but I mean, you kind of take the luster off of what you're doing if you're always practicing around the scene. So I, I decided that I would only show up to a practice every once in a blue, like, like the um, open practices and just kind of do my own thing in the parks and whatever, and cuts, bruises, scrapes. And every once in a while, we'd get up with a few of the folks from the crew and be like, you know what? Let's chip in a little bit of money for a ghetto uh, studio for moving to Vegas. I mean, it's just like, you got the gym over there. It's mad cheap every month. It's like I got a spot to practice out there. I got, I have a house now. So it's like, boom, I got my garage. I got that set up. Ever since I've been out there, they, I mean, like the scene has showed me like so much love. Um, I got out there and they, they were like open on, like, yo man, like we want to learn from you, teach us where. When I was over here in New York, it was always a little standoffish. It was like, yo, the crew that might have been opposing you might have respected you, but they were like a little standoffish, like, yo, you know, we kind of share a little bit of the same, you know, a piece of the same island, so, you know, don't cross that line or else whatever. And since I've been gone, you know, and I come back, it, it feels good to come back because, um, you get to, to see a different side of the way everybody treats you. Like when you come back, everybody shows you mad love. And not only that, but um, they, they kind of learn to miss you a little bit as well as you missing them. It's good to get away from your scene and explore another scene. Yeah. And like uh, see how organized or disorganized everything is and bring it back you know, to your own scene. And at the same time, you're, you're Every time you visit a different state, it's like you, you, you come back with a different enlightenment. Yeah. And it's like you notice it. You notice it every time you come back. You come back and you see the guys that never leave the state. You, you, you almost They almost seem kind of stuck like in their own ways and they don't seem to be wanting to change. And But then you see the cast that are traveling and it's just like, yo man, they got this, they got this, you know, different understanding understanding it's not about like yo man this guy was looking at me in a circle and blah 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 it's like yo man like when when i've gotten out to see other crews and all that stuff like yo it's all about love and like uplifting the, the culture and and really like yo this is a culture that we, yo, we put, that we made and like we're responsible for the way this is developed and if this if this scene goes to shit it's because we did that to we it. Did that too, yeah. So it's like you know, yeah. we let it go that way and it's like like we're responsible for it and then we're putting it into the hands of the next upcoming people and it's like they're gonna be responsible. I don't wanna try to change the scene, like everybody's trying to change the scene to what they think it should be. I just feel like 
you know, there should be a little bit of teaching of appreciation for a little bit of the way the scene was kind of stuff. Because this is this is kind of like their time, and like we're the o we're the OGs, you know, like the people who've been in the game, you know, well over 10, 15, whatever, however many years, and they're kind of coming up and, and looking at us as an example. All we could do is lead by example, tell our stories, and then like kind of give them that picture in their head so that they could wonder how how it was and, and like make their scene the way it's supposed to be. Because like every every generation has their their vision of what the scene should be, and it's, it's crazy because like I hear people from my generation or younger generations. You know, like, I look back, the scene wasn't like this before. And it's like, yo, man, like, you don't even know what the scene was like before you. Yeah. You know, so it's not it's not about really changing it. It's kind of like, you know, nurturing it and making sure that, that, yeah, it is what it is now, but you add a little bit of your flavor to it so it doesn't completely lose its luster. I'd like to give a shout out to all my homies here in uh, New York. You know, LSP, ready to rock, all right? I'd like to give a shout out to Rocksteady also. Um, all my peoples who were and are down. Um, Seven Gems. And I'm saying, you know, I got love for y'all. Zulu. Um, all my homies up in Las Vegas. Yeah, we have time for House of Reps. I want to ask And all the crews out there in, in uh, Vegas and Cali.